There are many, many diseases and maladies that have no known cure. Experts say the future is even more frightening than that. We put drug-resistant bacteria under the microscope in tonight's cover story, When Superbugs Attack. It's been called a global crisis, a pressing threat to public health. Do we need to be scared? I don't like to use the word scared. I would rather say, well, yes, we've got to be very concerned. Superbugs are spreading with alarming speed and doctors are powerless to stop them and they grow they grow like crazy dr robert edelman runs the center for vaccine development at the university of maryland medical center he's at the forefront of modern medicine creating new ways to combat deadly diseases but the superbug can resist nearly all drugs it has a special gene that produces an enzyme to disable antibiotics we don't have a lot of antibiotics in our bag, in our armamentarium, that we can reach in and say, let's use it for this new superbug. We've run out of antibiotics. Without drugs, the superbug can take down even the strongest immune systems. Bodybuilding is not a sport, it's a lifestyle. Every morning, Richard Herskovitz is in his basement, working his way to the perfect physique. But several years ago, his bodybuilding career came to a halt. And I woke up in the middle of the night and tried to put my leg down and the pain was just so intense, so unbelievable, I, I couldn't put my leg down. Somehow, he'd contracted what's known as MRSA, the flesh-eating bacteria. It was eating the flesh off his right leg faster than doctors could stop it. And then I had the onset of, of infection after infection after infection. It, it, Mentally, I was extremely, extremely depressed. Soon, this longtime bodybuilder was faced with one of the most difficult decisions of his life. I would either walk with a boot on my leg and crutches and a cane for the rest of my life and never be able to do anything, or as a matter of taking away the, the, the disfigured and damaged limb. Herskovitz chose to amputate a decision that likely saved his life. Mercer kills 19,000 Americans each year. That's higher than the death toll for AIDS. Even more worrisome, this monster was created by our own medical experts. By overusing antibiotics, we've taught the superbug to adapt and survive the very same drugs designed to kill it. These antibiotics are treasure. They are a treasure. And we've been abusing our treasure. We've been de de demoting them and demeaning them. Now the superbug is resistant to nearly all antibiotics, and the problem is spreading. You know, it, it, it's a remarkable way these bugs can get around, hitchhiking on humans. In September, the Center for Disease Control identified 35 states with cases of NDM1 infections, a deadly bacteria that originated in India. How to prevent it from happening? How can you have to change the culture and the use of antibiotics? Meanwhile, patients are left with few options. For Herskovitz, it's a life of physical challenges and emotional scars. In 2009, he had to have a second surgery to remove even more of his leg. This time, he lost his knee. But Herskovitz never lost his drive. I wanted to be able to look at myself in the mirror and not look down and, and concentrate on what I had lost. Um, I wanted to be able to look in the mirror and be proud of the reflection that I saw. With the help of a prosthesis, Herskovitz learned to walk and soon discovered he could run. Competitor number 39. Five months after his first surgery, <laughs> Herskovitz stepped back on stage as the first amputee to compete in bodybuilding. It, it was nice to be back. It, it felt like I'd never, never left. <laughs> Patrice Harris, Fox 45, News at 10. Doctors say developing new antibiotics and strictly limiting their use is the only way to fight these illnesses.